On the 9th of September, we spoke about Officer X, a Sussex police constable who was found to have committed gross misconduct by banging one of his colleagues in Brighton Police Station and stealing seized drugs, namely diazepam, from the evidence room. Officer X also tried to actively conceal his wrongdoing by altering evidence bag notes. The theft offences were said to have taken place in April this year and the banging of his colleague was said to have occurred in 2019. He was given anonymity during the hearing due to his mental health. Well, in the interests of keeping people updated and absolutely nothing to do, nothing at all to do with the fact he tried to remain anonymous with mental health claims whilst the rest of us would be named and shamed, his name has now appeared on the College of Policing's barred list. 29-year-old, now former PC, Joshua Johnson, was also found to have lied on his application form to become a police officer in April 2017 and during the vetting process. Corruption from the very start. I don't suppose anyone's surprised by that revelation. Johnson was arrested on April 4th, 2020 and suspended from work while a police investigation took place. By the time of the hearing, he had quit the force, but a panel found that if he hadn't, he would have been dismissed, for what that's worth. At the time of this hearing, Chief Superintendent Lisa Bell from the Professional Standards Department said police officers must behave in a manner that does not discredit the police service or undermine public confidence. The actions of this officer fell far short of the standards and integrity expected by Sussex Police, which is reflected in the findings by this panel. The unacceptable conduct that has been heard here will not be tolerated, but this poor behaviour should not have it overshadow the hard work by the vast majority of our officers, staff and volunteers, within Sussex Police. Now surely this just goes to strengthen the idea that police recruitment processes are not fit for purpose. More and more police are being found to have been corrupt from the very start of their career, with many not even making it into a full rank of a PC before engaging in their unlawful conduct. It frightens me to consider how many more corrupt fuck pigs are out there who have managed to evade identification for so long. The number of crimes that have been committed by police that could have been prevented if they only had a proper recruitment process for such a role. I guess we should be pleased really as it means I won't run out of content for a long long time. In fact even if I put 10 videos out a day for the rest of my life I probably wouldn't come anywhere near close to listing every bent copper that's been identified. And that's a shocking thought.